Hey y'all, it's time to see what kind of trouble I can get into. It's been way too long. Um, I do have my setup just a little bit different, so it's kind of close. So I'm gonna work on adjusting it a little bit more, but um, hopefully I'll be able to see everything tonight. But um, I've seen a lot of people do the boiler maker, and I had thought about trying it, but I want to do something a little bit different. Um, if somebody else has already done this and has a name for it, then I apologize, but I'm gonna call it a double shot. And what I'm gonna do is do these two with these two inside of it, and then have them both flipped at the same time. And uh, so we're gonna see how that turns out. It's not bad enough, I haven't tried one, but I'm gonna try two, so. Anyway, colors I'm using are gonna be Arteza Titanium White, Arteza Phthalo Blue, Arteza Gold, and Arteza Scarlet Red. Oh, and a little bit of Craftsman Black. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and pause you, and I'm going to get, um, get everything filled up, and then we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I layered it, I can remember, right? Gold, blue, a little bit of white, red, and then just a tiny bit more blue, I think. I don't remember for sure now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not sure how much I'll need to put in each of these cups, so I'm just gonna kinda start about halfway each. I suppose I should have measured to see. I do have an empty one of those little um, perfume lids and an empty one of these cups. So I'm going to go look and see about how high and then I'll be right back. Okay, in order to make sure that it covers it, I think I need a little bit more, but then I wanna make sure that I've got enough paint for the canvas too. So I'm gonna put quite a bit in there actually. One. Oh no, come back here. I got a hair. Yes. And I thought I saw a paint, either a paint chunk or a Floetrol chunk. Um, these are just Floetrol and paint. Um, so there's not a lot of room in there to mix it like I want to, but hopefully if it was paint, I got it mixed in. All right. Wrap it. Hopefully it'll sink down a little bit more. And no. <laughs> and it doesn't want to sink down anymore, so let's see if I can get it. Well, there. I'm just gonna shove it down like that for the best, and then I will wipe these off, rinse them off later. So, I'm not usually very good at doing this double flipping thing, so I'm going to see if I can, yeah, that's not going to work, hang on just a second, let me think, I should have thought this through, maybe if I put them on this, then I can just lift the one thing up. I think it worked. Yay. Yay, it worked. Woohoo. A little bit leaking out, but not a whole lot. And I should have enough paint, but I am like really paranoid about it. So I'm going to just pour some more on here. Because I will use it for skins. So it's not a big deal. I am going to get something other than this blue underneath this to catch the extra paint um, because, um, well, no, I'll just leave it because um, it'll be the bottom of it. It'll be no big deal. 
Okay, I think these have sat long enough, so. Oh well. That didn't turn out how I thought it would. <laughs> Get a little bit of a ring pour action going on down here. That's going to be so much fun to clean up. <laughs> Why did I not think of that? Oh, see, now this one did what I thought it was going to do on the other one. Let me... And I forgot to put anything underneath of the canvas to keep it off the bottom, so I'll have to see if I've got a couple of cans or something. Alright. So, let's see what we come up with here. So far, I really like this side, and that's how I wish this one would have done, but I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of lacing already starting here and over here, and I'm so excited. And it looks like I'm going to have lots of paint for skins, so... <laughs> I've got plenty of the white on there, so let's get some of that off. got almost, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but like barely there. Okay, let me get this covered good. So it won't matter too much once it's dried because it just kind of blends, but So, just tip it a little more. Come on down to the corner. I already got you some extra, some started. I'm going to lose all that pretty stuff that I didn't want to lose. much because it stretches some things out too much for my liking but I'm really liking this section that's really close up on on the screen right now bring it back some the tree ring pour area is really cool have some possible skinnables down there so I don't want to set this on it. Let me see. I do have a can. And I'm going to have to just use that for now and run and get a can in just a minute. But I'm going to pause you, go get the other can, and then I'll bring you in for a close-up. Okay had to prop it up because for some reason the cans weren't the same level. So, this is the bottom left. See the shimmer in there from the gold? It looks like clouds in the sky there to me. So pretty. Oh, black was the other color. Yep. And I like the, sh the lines there, like the tree ring style lines. And I'm wondering if that's from like the very end where I had pulled it out of the container. I love that black line, almost like a coloring book line. And uh, bring you over here. Just, I just think this is like really cool. 
a little bit more white in the middle than I would prefer. I like this red, white, and blue line though. That's really cool. And how pale this is over here. Oh, my finger's really huge there. But how pale that is and showing up. And then like here too, the blue is just barely peeking through and it doesn't want to focus. Uh, come on. Anyway, you can see it's just barely poking through on the white. And uh, over here, just a little bit more color poking through barely. And then here, we've got that blue kind of poking through. And then uh, right in through here, those lines really showed up and, and held from the tree ring style. So yeah, I actually kind of like it. I may embellish it some. Um, put some words or something in the middle there where it's so much white because even though there's color there it's still kind of pale to me but we'll see how it dries overall I think this side is my favorite but I really like this side too so yeah anyway there is um, my new my new made up or called the double shot so oh look this almost looks like a feather <laughs> all right this has been my double shot and I hope you all have enjoyed and um, yeah take care y'all